Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to tutorial 6 on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So, first off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll be more organized in creating your game. And also, you guys can check out my previous series on how to create a uh, first person shooter game in Unity. Uh, for a more better understanding of the basics of Unity, you know, so this uh, series will be a total walkthrough if you guys It'll be very very simple. So yeah now uh, if you're following uh, thus far You'll know that today I'll be showing you guys how you can add a flashlight to your game uh, So yeah, let's get down to it What you'll need to do is check for the link in the description below and download the package and import it into your project uh, for those total beginners, it's very simple. All you need to do is just uh, download the package, and after you finish, you just uh, right click and hit open, and it'll you'll be automatically redirected to Unity, and the decompressing panel is going to show up, and then you have another panel is going to be displayed after, and you just leave everything as is and hit import and yeah that's pretty much that when you're finished you're gonna get a tutorial 6 folder good stuff now within that folder uh, all of the components will be needing for uh, this uh, tutorial today so yeah that's pretty much that now as I told you guys in my previous uh, series and I'll tell you guys once more I'm here to help you guys alright and I wanna make uh, your experience of making a, a video game in Unity very very easy and very simple you know I know the feeling of coming into Unity and uh, not for the first time and not really too sure of what's going on and you're looking for an easy way out alright I know that nothing comes easy in life alright but I just want to make this easy for you guys alright so what I did I just made a prefab of the actual uh, flashlight and the hand and so forth you know so what you guys need to do is just go to your tutorial 6 folder open up the prefab and as you can see the, uh, I have a hand model with the flashlight and I also have like a point light attached to it when you actually drag it in the game you'll see what I'm talking about so all we need to do is just go to our first person controller and open it up alright now we're gonna take the flash prefab alright from our prefabs folder we're gonna take this here the flash alright and we're gonna just drag it onto our main camera alright it's that simple and we have a light in our game yeah pretty much that all we need to do now is just hit play and we press F and the flashlight comes on so as you can see we're walking around in our game you know everything's cool nighttime you know now we can't really see anything right now so we just hit F and the flashlight is on and we're able to see what's going on in our game so yeah that's pretty much that now suppose you might be wondering how exactly does this thing actually work because uh, you guys might know that we can add a directional light or whenever we add a directional light to our game the entire scene gets bright now it's very simple um, all I did was add a uh, so uh, the light called a spotlight all right now the spotlight is going to actually project an image at a certain spot all right as you can see let me just hit play all right and show you guys what i mean now as you can see there the light is in a, at a certain spot on the ground so that's what the spotlight basically does it projects the light uh, onto a certain spot uh, on our terrain or wherever in our game yeah so uh, that's pretty much that the this here basically the cookie this the this deals with uh, the illusion of actually making our flashlight look as if it's an actual flashlight as you can see this kind of detail here alright so if I'm to actually remove this as you can see the detail disappeared alright so yeah you can keep that much in mind so if you guys want it that way you know without that sort of illusion as if it's a flashlight you know you guys can leave it plain and it'll look like a flashlight with no sort of glass uh, over it so no sort of protection so yeah you guys can leave it like that if you want to 
and the script basically deals with when we select the key F it's going to turn the flashlight on and when we select the key F once more it turns it off so the F key basically deals with turning the flashlight on and off yeah that's pretty much that so yeah this is pretty much uh, basics you know uh, of how you can actually add the flashlight to your game all I did was just drag uh, the hand model the flashlight itself uh, and I just peer into it onto a game object and then peer in the game object onto the main camera as you can see this flush this flash here uh, is uh, peer into the main camera yeah so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys uh, I know it's short but I hope you guys like it though and it helps out some of you guys in some way for your actual zombie game so yeah uh, if you're new to my uh, tutorial series, I recommend you uh, subscribe to my channel to keep yourself up to date, you know. And in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how you can add uh, some 3D models to your game uh, to enhance your uh, game outlook, you know, like some houses and so forth, you know, so game will look a little more game-like. So yeah, that's pretty much that. So once again, hope you like this tutorial, guys. If you do, you can give me a thumbs up. Do remember to subscribe, keep yourself up to date with my uh, tutorial series on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So, until next time, continue making games guys, and I'll see you. Peace.